So if I were to go around and make some changes, let's say for example, I'm going to go around and utilize this brush right here, just like this to draw around, then I made some changes. And let's say I want to go back, that is undo. Then I can go around on to edit and then go for undo right here, just like this. You can go around undo right here again. And then what happens is that uh, it gets deleted and deleted right here, just like this, as you can see. You can also press Control Z on your keyboard. But apart from that, what you can also do is you can step forward right here, that is redoing the thing right here. The uh, my option right here is Control Shift Z right here, so you can go around and Control Shift Z to redo all the undos right there. You can go around undo and then click on this right here, just like this to undo everything out right here, or step back backward and forward right here. But if I were to make some changes after the undo is done, then there is no step forward right here. So you can see that this is what you have. You can step backward, but you cannot step forward after that right here because you did a certain uh, change after that right there. So apart from that, you can go around and work around with cut. Let's say, for example, if I were to go around and then select out a portion right here, just like this, then this is what I have. I can go around over here and cut that portion and that portion has been cut right here. But you can go around and then you can paste around that uh, over here somewhere else. So let's just go around and allow it right here. Then you can go around and see that you pasted out the cut portion right here. Apart from that, let's just go around over here onto uh, the selection and select this. And now I'm going to select this portion and I'm going to go around and copy right here just like this. And now I'm going to go around over here and paste it out right here. So let's just go around and then go to edit and paste right here just like this. And then what happens is that without cutting, it copied and pasted the content out right here. Apart from that, you can go around over here and select out, let's say, for example, a portion. And then you can go around over here on to edit and clear it out around over here, just like this as well. And that is how you can go ahead and undo, redo, cut, copy, clear, and paste contents inside a photo bee. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.